Hey, good morning, heavy hitters. So I just wanted to touch bases with you guys because I haven't spoken to you in a few days. Let you know I'm doing an interview with Jay Williams today. Uh, he did some time with Tukey Williams, who we're going to be discussing. I'll be able to drop that story. I told him to keep it sort of PG so that we could put it on YouTube itself. But most of Jay's stuff will be going to Patreon because he's got some insane stories. He's got 16 terms, a gang of time in the county. So they were all baby terms, but it, you know, it doesn't matter. Any day that they can steal from us is a day that they can't never, you can't never get back. So, you know, uh, a lot of you guys, if you knew my whole story, you know, you'd be wondering how I'm able to live in a smile today, you know, because some of us just let it run, ruin the rest of our lives. And I refuse to do that. I refuse to do that. I'm a heavy hitter. No matter what else is going on in my life, I'm a heavy hitter. You guys asked, a few of you asked, how come I haven't dropped a video in a few days? Well, you know, when you start to develop feelings for other people and you want to spend a lot of time with them, which I develop feelings for all of you guys too as well. I appreciate you all. And, you know, like this person's taking some of my time right now. And don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. I just wanted to touch bases with you guys, let you know I got some sick interviews coming up. Um, working on thumbnails or intros or whatever. So for those of you who don't know, here, let me get it for you. <clears throat> Our P.O. Box is 10863 Canoga Park, California, 91309. I would love to hear what you'd like to hear as content. Uh, it's time for me to start hustling. i got to get that grind on. i got I got an obligation to fill that bed, and I just put an addict in it last night who I met at 7-Eleven and was like, man, I need to turn my shit around. He's never seen my stuff before, and I was still able to ignite that magic in him to go, you know what, there is a better way, man. I shot dope for 38 years. So speaking of which, the other day I cut a video and my doctor just upped my clonidine, not clonopin, some of you jokers, my clonidine from 0.1 to 0.2 and I didn't realize the effect it had, had on me when I did the video. So I do appreciate all those that are concerned, but keep in mind this is a recovery channel. I'm not burning doobies and uh, eating clonopins or doing any of that stuff you know I wouldn't be here at all I wouldn't be trying to share me with you you know and I appreciate you sharing you with me I do so um, you know and I just wanted to bring this to some of your attention because obviously it is a recovery channel you know it's not like you know I'm making millions of dollars in recovery stuff I just I'm trying to help some people stop from fucking up the rest of their lives you know um, because and, and a fact is winners love seeing other people win I'm that guy I love seeing you progress I love the guy that's got nine days clean and hits me on my channel with it and says hey I got nine days clean and I love the guy that says I don't use drugs I sure appreciate your content beautiful beautiful man you know uh, I look at it like this if there's no struggle there's no growth guys you know there's no struggle there's no growth and I try and grow every day and you know batters a little pitter patter pitter patter is going for somebody else right now and I believe that they feel the same way and I'm very happy about that and you know it, it's not the other departments it's how somebody makes us feel and it's always magical in the beginning you know it's just up to us to keep it magical guys keep it magical make your girl feel like that diamond she is set aside some time for her you know for sure once a week you know if you can't afford much make her a dinner you know just show that you care man and, and I promise those same things are gonna happen and your relationships gonna grow and that's in all areas of your life work the children everything you know um, Hey man, what we didn't have to have yesterday was some fucking salt saturated turkey. You know what I mean? With a little bit of roll and a little bit of fucking cranberry sauce and some eight day old stuffing. Cause that shit's always stale as a motherfucker by the time you get gets to the back. It's cold. It's all cold. You know, a little roll um, and a little piece of what they might consider apple pie. So nowadays everything comes in a little container already. Like the, the rolls we used to get back in the day, we call them roscas with oatmeal and peanut butter. And you had to hold that tray with two hands, man, because you was fixing to hit the weight pile right after that so you could eat anything and everything you wanted. 
it's not that way today. You know, the little rolls or the little pies come in a little unopened pack like from from Wendy's or something and it's as unpersonal as it could get. You know, and so is the experience of sitting alone in prison, knowing your family's out here. Yeah, and most of us are probably thinking, well, I probably avoided that fight. Guys, we bring what we bring to the table. It doesn't have to be a fight. You know, it could be, hey, I'm here. I'm here to be the best me that I can be. And I'm trying to do that in everyday life. You know, and, it, and the more your family starts to see that, we're, in a, we're a program of attraction, not promotion. We don't tell you how great our life is going and don't show you that we're trying to live that way. We try and live that way and hopefully you can see how great our life is going. And in the end, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? In the end, everything we did is just a story. Make it a good one, guys. Make it be known, you know, hey, he was a good cat, you know? Hey, he was always solid. So, Sean Atwood, thank you for throwing us a shout out. Big Herc and I, uh, I appreciate that, you know. Um, it's magical what's going on in my life. I get to see everything for what it is today, and, and I don't get the, all this shit because I'm that guy waiting on a kite, you know what I mean? And for those of you who don't know, a kite is simply a piece of paper written down with some information on it coming from somebody that's got some information to shoot to us. So... I just want you to know we're at over 15,000 now, guys. Wow, it's magical. Magical. And trust me, if the magic of being sober wasn't better than the magic of getting high, guess where I'd be? I certainly wouldn't be on YouTube with you guys. I promise you that. You know, I get to look into a beautiful woman's eyes today and just see the color in them ignite. Uh, like I said, my personal feelings are going to reflect on the channel on a regular basis, too. You know, just when we're having trouble, the channel might have trouble. I don't know. But I'm going to do my best to always just bring you the real. We all go through it. I don't get on YouTube and fuck, life's great this particular moment. But who knows about after I hang out. My life's just the way you hear it on YouTube. It is what it is. You know, and I thank you all for playing a part in that. I thank you all for keeping me accountable. So, with all that said, you know, some people want it to happen. Some people need it to happen. But heavy hitters make it happen. Nothing but love and respect shots your way. Enjoy this weekend, guys. Enjoy it. Get some of the things you wanted to get done, done. Don't look at it like you have to. Look at it like you get to because that's really how it is. Remember, it could all be gone tomorrow. Love and respect. Shot your weight.